Hey guys, let's talk about Arbitrum real quick. Uh, as you can see, Arbitrum is basically hit an all-time low. Um, now, if we do go back to the very beginning, yeah, you could say it was technically like one penny. But, um, you know, basically since the launch, um, you know, it hasn't been this price before. So if you enter down here at about 56 cents, you have an excellent entry. Um, yeah, you have way better entry than anybody uh, who has brought uh, bought Arbitrum before. And uh, yeah, guys, I, I still believe in Arbitrum. Um, I still believe this is at least an $8 project probably at the end of this bull run. Um, but basically, my original prediction was 10 to 12. Um, but yeah, I do believe it can at least make about $8 still. Um, now, it is going to run into this resistance up here with this trend line. Uh, I don't believe this is a very strong trend. Um, maybe I could even adjust this trend line somewhat and put it like here. Um, but in reality, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just going to leave it right there. And uh, probably around 75 cents or so, you're going to see a little bit of resistance with this trend line. Um, but there is kind of a weekly uh, resistance up here at about 80 cents. Um, I remember a long time ago, uh, Arbitrum was about 80 cents forever. So, yeah, this line will kind of be, you know, probably a little bit difficult to push through. Uh, being a weekly resistance, plus I remember it was just around this 80 cent range for a very long time. So we basically have to get back out of the accumulation um, or reaccumulation. So that's uh, that ends at about 86 cents. And then you have a weekly resistance up here at 91 cents. And then you have another one around 98 cents, let's say. And then dollar, you have this daily resistance. But the dollar is, you know, psychological number. So that's going to probably be a little bit, you know, harder resistance, um, you know, for actually people who are going to buy Arbitrum. They want to buy Arbitrum in the 90s, you know, when it gets there or in the 80s. So people are going to say, um, I'm going to wait for a dip. But anyways, guys, let's take a quick look at Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is just now hanging on to the top of this Fibonacci. So yesterday it did manage to break through. And yeah, it, it, you know, right now is holding it. If we zoom in, you can see it did retest the top of this zone, which is actually a good thing. So let's see if uh, we can hold this Fibonacci level. And if now this will propel us uh, to go upwards, uh, we're probably going to meet this trend line first, I believe probably tomorrow or Tuesday. Um, I don't believe we'll meet it today, but if we do, it crosses, you know, right above us at about 60.2. So that would be a really hard resistance to get through. Um, but I don't believe, you know, on a Sunday, we're going to get all the way up to 60.2, of course. Um, but we'll see. I think, you know, definitely, you know, let's see if this, if this comes down uh, the 9th. What's today? Today's the 7th, so 8th, 9th, 10th. So it's going to be, I would say, if we don't meet it by the 10th or 11th, I would be kind of shocked. So uh, I think probably Wednesday or, or Thursday. Uh, Thursday is when you have, you know, if you remember, guys, uh, on this uh, calendar that I'm going to pull up here, um, Thursday and Friday were just bigger days economically with the economic data. And uh, uh, I need to scroll up here. Um, but let's just take a look here uh, this this week. Sorry. Um, let me scroll down. Thursday exactly was. Yeah, CPI. OK, retail sales, CPI, um, jobless claims. Again, you have Cleveland CPI as well. You have Bostick speaking. It's kind of a big day. Uh, Friday, uh, you know, again, like I said before, you got like exports from China, imports from China. Um, you've also got, you know, CPI from France, you got Spanish CPI, uh, US, uh, we got PPI, and uh, we got the Michigan numbers coming out, you know, Friday and things uh, for America again. So, yeah, Thursday, Friday, very big days, uh, as you can see here on the calendar. 
And uh, yeah, guys, I mean, that's what Arbitrum looks like right now. It's still in a very good position to accumulate if you don't have Arbitrum or if you're looking to pick up more, this is pretty much the lowest level it's you know ever been. So yeah, it's a good you know point to DCA, we can say, uh, if you want a dollar cost average, uh, it's a good time. Anyways, guys, that's what I got for you with Bitcoin and Arbitrum. As you can see, Bitcoin is hanging on. Uh, let's see what happens today. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. If you like this video, like, subscribe, activate the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.